Hello, this is the Dream Machine algorithm on the Disting EX. This algorithm is a drone synthesizer uh, that lets you explore just and other non-traditional tunings um, by defining frequency ratios um, of up to five tones in terms of ratios of prime numbers. Uh, which sounds fancy, but it's probably best just to dive in and see what that sounds like. Um, it's a wavetable-based uh, oscillator. So the first premise is the wavetable, but we're not hearing anything because we don't have any of the oscillators turned on. So let me just move up to the gates. So each of the five tones has its own gate, uh, which controls an envelope generator. You can control that through the knobs, obviously, or you can map it to a, an input if you want to have it controlled elsewhere. Um, but given this is um, mostly, but mostly about drones, it's quite convenient just to turn them on and off, or just turn them on, in fact. So, that's the first one. Two, three, four, five. So there's our drone. Um, the outputs, there's a stereo output on A and B. Output three always outputs the lowest tone, the fundamental, uh, irrespective of the envelope or any of the gain settings. And output four out outputs the envelope of the fundamental if you want to do these things and process them separately. So, um, yeah, that's droning away. As I say, it is based on wavetables. Um, by default, this knob is mapped to control the offset into the wavetable. So if I turn that, you can hear the sound change. And input five, by default is selected as a CB input for the wavetable position. So if I take a LFO, pop that in there, then that's a nice way to get some quickly or slowly evolving timbre changes uh, into your drony sound. So let me just walk through the parameters uh, and see how this, what is available and how this is all set up. So that's the wavetable, as I say. Um, so the first thing we need to define our drone is the f uh, set of prime numbers that are the allowable uh, multipliers that are going to make up our ratios. Now, um, you can choose pretty much whatever primes you like. The defaults are 2, 3, 7 and 31. Uh, which, um, apart from anything else, means that there's no number five, which is what you need if you ever want to have major thirds in your tonality, uh, but you can change those and explore all the different things you can make with these sounds. Um, parameter 12 is the fundamental frequency. Now, this is set by dialing in a number in thousands of hertz, so you can get super accurate in terms of the uh, the kind of bass tone. Uh, now this is set to a concert B flat currently. Um, other things you might want, like to choose are whatever the resonant frequency of your performance space or, or uh, studio is, which you can explore by experimentation. Uh, if you do want to dial in a concert pitch, there's a menu for that. So if we go into the menus, Dream Machine menu, set fundamental, and then choose if we go down to A, there we go. Um, so like I say, you can tune that very, very uh, precisely. Um, there's an octave as well, so just move the whole thing up and down to white octaves, uh, depending on your needs. And then we've got the denominator and the four numerators, so uh, that's fancy talk for the top and bottom of the fractions that make the different sounds. So uh, we've got 32 as the denominator and the numerators at the moment are 42, 56, 62 and 63. Uh, the actual frequency of that tone is shown on the right hand side there. So um, if I change these up and down, you can hear the tone changing. Below the selected uh, ratio you'll see there's another ratio which is the same same ratio but reduced to its lowest form uh, which can make it a bit more comprehensible so for example if I dial in 64 over 32 that's actually 2 over 1 which is an octave 
Um, it surprises me with this chord how an octave actually sounds slightly weird, whereas that, which is some completely untraditional ratio, really sounds rather pleasant. But there we go, that's the joy of, of psychoacoustics, I guess. And then the gates, like I say. So if I um, turn some of them off, so that's just the fourth tone there. Um, I'm going to skip ahead and show you the envelope parameters. So envelope, turn that up a bit, attack and decay, and go back to our gate. So now we can turn things on and off a bit more subtly, which is perhaps nicer in a droney performance. And you can see there when I turn the fundamental gate on and off that this is actually the, it's not an on off, that is the shape of the envelope decaying out and coming back. Now, um, each of the tones has its own independent uh, mix basically to the stereo outputs. It's got a gain and it's got a pan. Let's pan this one around. If you hear that in stereo, you can hear one of them's moving about. Um, so yeah, you can set up your own mix of the tones. Wave input, that's what I already mentioned. So that this is the parameter that tells the algorithm which input to use to modulate the, the uh, wavetable position. That's there. If you don't want to modulate the wavetable position, you can just turn that to off to none. Wave offset, this is the parameter that the L knob is mapped to by default, so that's just your position in the wavetable. So if you don't want to have that mapped to the knob, you can just control that from a parameter, or you could map that to anything you like, control it by MIDI. But that's uh, quite pleasant as it is. Attack time, decay time, we just did. Um, each tone also has its own uh, possibility to have an FM input. So if I select tone four, then select input one for FM, then if I put my LFO into, into there, it's now frequency modulating um, the fourth tone. And the scaling is, is designed to let you do very small and precise bends. Um, it's one volt per hertz, basically. So once you've set up your your drone, you can very slightly detune things and get more exciting beat frequencies and cancellations going on. So if I just take a different thing here, which is just a source of a constant voltage rather than another foe. And I'm just slightly changing the detuning of that oscillator. And of course you can choose the same uh, input to detune all of your tones and then the whole whole thing's going to go up and down. I'll turn that off for now. Um, this last one is the waveform of the fundamentals. So as I said there's a fundamental drone and then there's the four overtones I guess. By default, they all use the wavetable, uh, but you can select the fundamental just to be a plain sine wave, which then doesn't change when you move the wavetable, or a triangle wave, or a square wave, which is quite extreme when you mix it in, but if you've got the square wave going out the separate output, you might go and filter or process that differently and have a bit more control over it. But I'll go back to wavetable for now. Um, so there we go. So basically you turn it on and explore the possible um, tones and clashes you can get. Uh, I've got a few different wavetables. Let's see what some of these sound like. It's changing far too fast for that one. It's quite pleasant. But then
then changing all the different, uh, changing the fractions can give you some very different drones. Anyway, so that's the um, that's the dream machine on the Disting EX.